Hello everyone, this is Gabriel, and today we're delving into the subtle distinctions between the words while, whereas, and whilest. These three words may seem similar, but they each have unique meanings and usage. Let's explore them further. Let's begin with while. While is a versatile word used to indicate a contrast or period of time. While can function as a conjunction, a noun, or a verb, depending on its usage. As a conjunction, while introduces a clause that contrasts with the time of another action. For example, he reads a book while he waits for the bus. As a noun, while refers to a period of time, as indicated here in this sentence. I haven't seen her in a long while. As a verb, while means to spend time in a leisurely manner, as shown here in this sentence. I like to while away the hours by the beach. Additionally, while can also denote a period of time during which something happens. While I was studying English, the phone rang. Now let's move on to whereas. Unlike while, whereas primarily functions as a conjunction and is used to express contrast or comparison between two things. Consider this sentence. She enjoys hiking, whereas her brother prefers cycling. Here, whereas highlights the difference in preferences between the two siblings. Lastly, we have whilest. Similar to while, whilest also denotes a period of time. However, it's rather archaic and used more in British English. In the sentence, he enjoys hiking, whilst she prefers swimming, the word whilst indicates simultaneous activities or preferences of these two people. To summarize, while is used for time, whereas for contrast, whilst for time as well, with a touch of British formality. And there you have it. By understanding the differences between while, whereas, and whilst, you can add more depth and precision to your English expression. Join us next time for more tips, tricks, and insights into mastering the English language. And don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. My name's Gabriel, and I'll see you in the next video.